Xbox Series X and Series S now have their own official first party headset option. And kind of like I did back when I talked about the Pulse headset for the PS5, I really want to discuss the idea of is it worth grabbing this specific headset because it is the official first party option or are you better off looking at some alternative options coming from third party companies? And one of the things that I think has been really heavily talked about with this headset is the concept of what you're getting for its price point at $100. To really put that into context, I want to take a look at comparing it to some different price options that are going in the very heavy opposite directions with the extremely cheap $10 option that I just picked up right here from Power A and a considerably more expensive option with the SteelSeries Arctis 9X that goes for twice the price at 200 bucks. First off, let's just do a quick little overview of everything this headset has to offer, and then we'll talk about how that stacks up compared to these other options. To begin with, this is a wireless headset that communicates primarily using the Xbox wireless signal, so you can connect directly to an Xbox One, an Xbox Series X, Series S, and a PC if you're using the Xbox adapter that plugs into them. It does also support Bluetooth, which you can use to connect to PC as well, although the sound quality is not going to be at the same level using this method. Really, the main purpose of this supporting Bluetooth is the fact that it does support the ability to use both the Xbox wireless and Bluetooth signal simultaneously. So you can connect to your Xbox while also connected to your phone at the same time. The main reason why someone would wanna do something like this is if you want to do something like, say, use Discord on your phone, at the same time you're getting gameplay audio from your Xbox. This is especially useful if you like playing any games that have cross-platform multiplayer. So if you wanna join up with a friend that's playing on PlayStation 5, you can use your phone and Discord as a way of communicating with them rather than relying on any kind of in-game services. As far as the physical construction goes, you've got an adjustable headband that does feature a cushion at the top alongside this hard top right here. You have both volume and chat mix controls that interestingly enough are not little dials you have to spin, but are the actual ear cup outside part right here, doing volume on this side and chat game volume mix on this side, which does have a little resting point you can fill in the middle. So you always know where that central 50-50 balance point is if you wanna hit that or adjust up and down from there. Well, this headset does support two different forms of wireless signals. It actually only has a single button used for synchronizing between either of these, which is this green button here that also acts as the power button as well. You've got a microphone that is not a retractable or removable option, but instead is just this bendable mic right here. It's a little shorter than a lot of other options out there, but still comes out just enough to catch your voice just fine. And the only other button on this headset, aside from the power and syncing button, is this little mic mute button right here. Of course, one of the big appeals of this being a first party option is not only the simplicity of how it sets up with your system, but also the fact that your system will also have built-in support for being able to manage this. There is an Xbox Accessories app that will allow you to do a few different customizable aspects of this headset, including being able to adjust the EQ, which is awesome. Not a lot of headsets give you direct EQ controls on the Xbox system themselves, so that's really handy to have easy access to, along with a number of other features you can customize, like how sensitive the auto mic muting is, or turning on and off mic monitoring so you can hear yourself in the headset. All in all, for 100 bucks, this thing is honestly an amazing value. And I think to really drive that point home, let's talk about some of the other options I brought up earlier, starting with the $10 Get It Done special. Now, I gotta be completely honest with you guys, of course, I'm gonna tear this apart a little bit in relation to an Xbox headset for obvious reasons, but honestly, for 10 bucks, this actually kind of surprised me. Are there better headsets out there? Absolutely. Not even a close argument, but for $10, I got game audio, I got the ability to hear both game audio and chat at the same time, albeit not as clearly as some better options out there, and the mic, while not the best, did work. Plus the benefit of having controllers with auxiliary jacks means that while you have to make sure you carry on your controller with you, you're not tethered to the system itself. So it still feels functionally wirelessly as long as you don't get up and walk away from your controller and start dragging it behind you. If you just wanna be able to talk to friends, you're not necessarily looking for the best audio experience out there, this actually does a pretty decent job. But again, the important thing here is seeing what you gain by going up 90 bucks to a $100 headset. And not just any $100 headset, the Xbox One, because there's lots of $100 options out there for the Xbox, but in terms of all the functions and features you're getting, this adds quite a bit more than a lot of competition out there. Obviously the big upgrades right away when you're spending more money, 
over ear headset so that way you're not getting the clash of outside noise with the noise coming out of the ear cups themselves. You're getting both sides, not just one like on the $10 headset, a much better mic, all those onboard controls that you can do through the Xbox app itself and that simultaneous Bluetooth audio support with game audio as well. And this is, I think, really one of the biggest things I want to talk about with this headset is that this feature of supporting both simultaneously is not a unique feature. This is not a brand new thing that Xbox is doing here. I've seen a few people kind of react to this as like, oh wow, I never knew this was an option before. There are headsets out there that offer this but not really at this price point. And where I really wanted to highlight this comparison is with our more expensive option, the SteelSeries Arctis 9X. Now, I have not been shy before about talking about the fact that I really like SteelSeries headsets, not even because of audio quality or list of features or anything like that. I just find them to be very comfortable headsets versus other options out there. And some of this is definitely personal preference. It comes down a little bit to head shape, ear size, all that good stuff. But I have found that the shape of the ear cups, the material they're made out of, the ski goggle kind of band at the top instead of using a cushion, all just feels a lot better on my head. And so it's been the option I go for. Now, this particular option, the 9X, is one of the more expensive options they have available for Xbox, costing $200, twice as much as the official Xbox headset. And a lot of the features that are being pushed by this headset as why it costs more money are a lot of the features that are actually already included in this new official option from Xbox. For instance, SteelSeries does have cheaper headset options available for the Xbox, but this is the only one that offers not only dual Bluetooth and wireless audio support, but it's the only one that actually makes use of the official Xbox wireless signal. Their cheaper Xbox options instead rely on a USB-C adapter that plugs into your system, which by the way, the Xbox doesn't actually have a USB-C port, so instead you have to rely on an adapter, which the one that their headsets normally come with is a strangely very long cable, at least very long considering what it's being used for. So part of what's justifying that higher price point is the fact that you can directly connect to your Xbox. And there are other cheaper options out there that offer this as well. For instance, both Razer's Kyra and Kyra Pro, which go for 100 and 150 bucks, do offer Xbox wireless signal as well. But for SteelSeries, if you want Xbox wireless specifically supported, you gotta fork out the 200 bucks. Now again, another big selling point of this is that it supports that dual Bluetooth audio support, which is awesome. And this is a feature that again, is not exclusive to Xbox. It's not exclusive to the SteelSeries either. There are other options out there, but most of the ones offering that feature, again, are costing over $100. Now, of course, there are more reasons why you might be willing to spend more money on a headset outside of just simply feature list. For instance, if we're directly comparing this headset to the Xbox wireless headset without talking about price at all as a factor, again, I do find this to be a more comfortable headset. You're also getting what I found to be better audio quality and a better sounding mic as well. For this particular one, the cheaper ones, the mic is not quite as good. And you're still getting access to a lot of the other features the Xbox wireless headset offers, but maybe not with the same degree of convenience. The main point I really wanna get across here when looking at the $10 get it done special, the $200 option here, and the midpoint with the Xbox official headset is this concept of diminishing returns. There is a lot that you get by spending this much on a headset, especially this one right here. And while there are better sounding, more expensive options out there, the list of what you're getting at that higher price point is honestly, not a lot compared to what you're getting out of this headset. At the end of the day, because I already have these headsets on hand, if I had to choose between using this or the 9X, I'm honestly still gonna use the 9X. I like the way the 9X feels and I do find that its audio quality is a bit better, but it's a headset that costs twice the price as this Xbox wireless headset. And while product scarcity is certainly a thing at the moment where these are flying off the shelves every time they get listed, if you're able to grab one or you're patient to wait for restocks, what you're getting at a hundred bucks is a way better value.